Hey guys, what's up? It's Freddie from CrossFit One World. I'm here with Rita, and we're gonna cover the press and the push press in this video. So the first thing we'll talk about is the foot positioning, and then I'll move her sideways and we'll talk about where the bar is on her shoulders. All right, so go ahead and face the camera and rack it up for a press. The rack position is the same for the press, the push press, and actually your jerk too. So we'll talk just about this uh, foot positioning first. If I was to take a Sharpie marker, and right where her hip socket is and draw an arrow straight down. So basically be right in the middle of her leg. That's where I want her heels lined up. Now if her toes are slightly pointed out or they're straight, that's totally up to her. But the feet are underneath the hips. And when you hear underneath the hips, that's what we're talking about right here. Hand grip. Hands should be just outside shoulder width. Full grip on the bar. All right, go ahead and turn your face me. Look what's happening with the elbows here. It's not a front squat position. A front squat position, the elbows would be way up here. In the pressing position, I just need the elbows in front of the load. You can get away with it a little closer to being under the load, but I like to see it out in front of the load. It's much easier to support the load right here. All right, she's nice and tight. Everything is lined up. Her feet are in that same position that I want. So let's go over the line of action right now. Very easy, a press. She's gonna cock the head back slightly. The bar is gonna travel straight up, and then we'll talk about the overhead position. So go ahead and press. Good, now in this overhead position, guys, the same thing is like when we covered the overhead squat. She's got active shoulders, it's pushed up tight. The bar is in line with the shoulders, the hips, and the heels. What I really wanna try and do is I really want her to hollow this back out here. She's gonna be nice and tight and solid right here. And then she's gotta push that bar back a little bit. So she's work, doing a little bit of work here. But this is the nice press position. She's got a really solid overhead position right here. So guys, if I was to tell Rita to do multiple presses and keep on going and there, she's gonna hit a fatigue factor, but she'll still be able to get the bar overhead by incorporating the use of her hips. And we're gonna, we call that a push press, all right? So basically what she's doing is she's getting a slight dip of the hips. She's driving through the heels out of the ground and then pushing the bar overhead. So basically assisting the bar with the hips, all right? Making the upward lift by incorporating the hips. So she dips slight if it's a bigger load, She's probably gonna dip a little tiny bit more, but understand that the, the more you dip, the more your chest has a tendency to forward inclinate, and then you have problems keeping the load lined up with the heels and not having it roll off your shoulders. So her dip is gonna be slight, dip and stand. Good? So you guys can see that, that's the dip stand. Just no forward inclination on this. Now she just fires that up a little bit faster, and at the top of that, opening up the hips, the load goes overhead, so do a push press. Good, and then the same position is overhead, so it's just incorporating the hip to get the load overhead. Very natural movement, it's what you're gonna do if you're gonna try and lift something heavy that you can't just straight press overhead. All right, that's the push press. Still rolling. <laughs> Let's do that again. Again? Yeah. <laughs>